Well, good morning and welcome to our daily devotion. Today is Thursday, September 9th, and I'm Marilyn Spina and delighted that you're here spending time with us this morning. And I hope you continue to feel connected with our in-person worship, streaming, emails, and updates, and uh, hopefully you feel connected. And on behalf of church staff and council, again, a huge thank you for all your prayers, your care, and your sharing in the ways you keep the ministries of Lord of Life going. And please know that if you're in need of any help at all, let us know because we're here for you. And this morning I pray the words I share with you might touch a heart, maybe help someone find peace they're seeking, or perhaps draw somebody just a little bit closer to God. So with that being said, again, thank you for stopping by this morning. And I've entitled today's devotion, We Are Children. I don't like to remind you of this, folks, but we are all still children. And before going on, have you ever looked up the definition of children? Well, if you do, you'll find it just simply says it's the plural of child. So then I looked up child, and here's what we find. A child is a person between the age of birth, puberty, and full grown. It's been said about parenting that having a child is like having your heart walk around outside of your body. It's really hard to describe the love we have for our children on most days. Typically, some of the things involved in rearing children is that they need to be cared for, nurtured, provided for, loved unconditionally, directed, taught, fed, encouraged, and even forgiven. As a result of our care, our children trust us. They know that we love them as well. But of course, along with what we try to do for our children comes worry, frustration, sorrow, uncertainty, and maybe a bit of discipline. Thus, in spite of all that, and as a result of our parenting, at times it seems that we're doing everything for our children. So how will they ever learn how to be responsible? Well, as children grow, they are taught and shown by example, and the previously mentioned attributes I talked about, and that will eventually sink in when they realize what parents are doing for each and every one. And typically, children want to emulate their parents. So fear not, your children will grow into loving, caring, responsible adults. So where am I going with this? First of all, we are all children of God. I will be your father and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty, 2 Corinthians 6.18. And even more illustrated in 2 Samuel 7, 14, when referring to David, I will be his father and he will be my son. When he does wrong, I'll see that he is corrected just as children are corrected by their parents. And of course, that applies to daughters as well. So in a nutshell, in God's eyes, we are all still his children. He does for us what we do for our children. He cares, nurtures, provides, loves unconditionally, directs, teaches, feeds, encourages, and forgives. As a result of his care, we trust God and we know he loves us. Just as our children need us, we too need our Father near us every minute, every hour, every day. We still need his guidance and help. We trust him that he will always be our go-to person. How does this seem any different from how we parent our children. Many similarities, right? Including the joy we find through loving our children. And two, when we put our trust in God our Father and try to follow his example, we will find joy and peace. And as he lovingly watches over us and sees the love for, we have for him, he too might feel as though his heart, his children, are walking around outside his body too. So dear children, keep on keeping on. We are still all learning and growing. And just as parents do, our Father continually watches over us, cares for us, nudges us, encourages, and loves us in a way that words cannot describe. Amen. Please join me in a word of prayer. Dearest Lord Jesus, there are times when I feel that I do not know it all. But then I stop to realize that I am still a child 
sitting at your feet, striving to learn all I can from you. Thank you for your unconditional love and patience while I continue to grow up. And Lord, we can become so easily overwhelmed with all the loss and devastation we see in this world of ours. Please bring peace and comfort to all who are suffering from storms, fires, floods, winds, unrest, fighting and poverty. Not just to do whatever we can to help those in such great need. And Lord Jesus, watch over all those others in need, whether they be in need of spiritual, emotional, or physical healing. As a great healer, we ask that you might touch and heal your children in spirit, mind, and body. We know you hear each and every prayer and will answer them in the way that is best and in your time. And we pause now and bring to you other concerns we carry deep in our hearts that we speak aloud or in silence. Thank you, Lord, for answering prayers, for your care, forgiveness, and unconditional love. Amen. Just a few reminders. Again, our services are all offered in person at 815, 931, and 1045. We are streaming the 931 and 1045 services. And you'll find for the 815 and 1045, we have bulletins available here in church for you. And if you need to print out one for home worship, you can go to current events or the red button on our e-news and print out a copy for yourself. Uh, there's still a few openings for flowers on our e-news. And thank you for those that have already donated candles and flowers. It just makes the sanctuary look very special. And of course, kids, Kidspiration is now available at 9.31 and 10.45, and there is a red button on the e-news you can click just to register your child or children to make sure that they have fun and are safe. And don't forget, this Sunday, it's rally day, start up of our fall programming, church picnic, and just fun, 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 including a shaved ice truck. You don't want to miss out on this, and if you haven't signed up yet, there are opportunities to sign up in church, online, etc., etc. And even if you, forget to, if you forget to sign up, join us anyway. We'd love to have you. And you'll find other important announcements in today's e-news. Please be sure and read it. And again, thank you for stopping by this morning and ask God continue to bless you and keep you all safe in the circle of his love. Have a great day.